Hey guys, welcome back. We're get to today we're talking about stolen cards. And no, we're not talking about stolen cards stolen from somebody that's a collector, stolen from somebody that's a game store. We're talking about stolen from the source. Yes, the usual. Stolen from the print facility, stolen from transportation, stolen from the destruction facility, stolen from storage. I guess they're storage stolen from distribution. We're talking a month in advance. The rattle rule. If it's more than a month, it's stolen. Uh, it's almost certainly stolen. I mean, again, somebody's breaking some kind of rule, uh, whether or not they uh, you know, they stole it. They were they were given it uh, from one of these uh, places of employment. Someone stole this shit from work. If this stuff happens, there's a there's a scheme going on. And uh, there's been no shortage of 151. I have people sending me 151 stuff every day, all day. Seemingly most, if not all, UPCs. Again, we uh, we old we we've been tracking this for a while now. Here we've had the uh, 151 Ultra Premium collections leaking out of the Chicago area. Very very cool that they're all coming out of that same place. But now that they've been distributed all over the place, uh, it's a it is a huge mess. It is going to be a huge mess. Uh, whether or not the PIs and the, the Pokemon company can keep up to that. Um, the thing I'm seeing here, like we've seen with some other stuff recently, man, are people ever poking the bear? For anyone that doesn't know, I know I have to say this on repeat, guys. I know you're sick of hearing it if you watch the videos, but the Pokemon company, Nintendo in general, will absolutely bend you over and pump your tight little butthole. They will do it. They're going to do it. It's going to happen. Predicting the future rattle here. I don't like to predict the future, but it's going to happen. And this is this is getting getting real close to a reason why they would do this. The amount of product that was leaked out here. I get it. The cards, we already know what the cards are going to be. We already pretty much have a, a good idea of what the set's going to be because it's going to be pretty much the Japanese set other than like the few people that are surprised like surprised Pikachu that oh my god we're not getting master ball reverses that's the dumbest shit ever uh, man okay if you stick around for more than a you know 2021 if you've been here longer than the pandemic you know that the English stuff is not going to get the Japanese reverses that they get from like specialty sets and they never have the fact that you would think and expect that they would shows that you don't know what you're talking about. And of course, we got the G-Ballers. We got the sneaker dogs. We got even the game stores piling in on this stolen shit. How fucking stupid can you be to own a game store? We've seen two of them now. One of them was already open. That did it right from the game store. And another one that's going... A guy that was planning on opening a game store. And is supposed to open a game store soon. Who's looking to just fuck himself. And his distributors clearly... Should not be sending him anything. If he's going to break the rules on buying stolen crap, he's probably going to break street date. Holy crap, man. Not to mention the fact that he was, he was pretending that he got it from his distributor. So, like, even worse. You're going you're gonna to blame your distributor in a way, I guess, or use it as an excuse for opening the stolen product. Again, you're not fooling anyone. You should have known better. If you're selling Pokemon cards, if you have a game store, if you, if you plan on having a game store, if you've gone through the motions of purchasing and setting up a property to open a physical game store, you fucking know that this shit is stolen. Holy fuck, man. So, again, we've seen it on the video ga game side of things. Not even the video game itself. It's not like they stole the video game and leaked the whole game or something like that. We have a guidebook. Sword and Shield guidebook. It was leaked. Photos of it. Not even the guidebook. They didn't steal the physical guidebook. They leaked photos of the guidebook, and those people got absolutely shafted. How this has not happened yet in the trading card world, how Pokemon has not cracked down on these people is beyond me. But like, they're uh, man, are they asking for it right now? Like, that it is whoever was taking this stuff, and it likely has a lot to do with our boy Tony Montero here in the first video. I'll put a link to this playlist. This is all the uh, all the videos on uh, stolen 151. Uh, that's one that you're gonna want to you're gonna want to uh, you're gonna want to watch that one. Um, apparently. Uh, he man, he posted stuff about how he had to, the uh, complaining about how the the TCG section of the Target was blocked off. So again, I don't know the exact details on how he has access to like distribution, uh, probably for Target. But like the sheer amount of boxes that got leaked out here, like someone is in serious trouble. 
Like serious, serious trouble. And that's why even if you're a G-ball and you're like, oh, you're just uh, jelly. We're going to take a couple of, look at a couple of those. Oh, you're just, uh, you're just mad because you don't have the product early. Like, what's the big deal? It's only cardboard. You hear the same talking points, the same coping mechanisms from these fucking idiots buying stolen product. Yes, it is against the law in most places to knowingly purchase stolen goods. I know it's a fucking wild concept, but the Pokemon cards, yes. It's stolen. Yes, it is still something of value, regardless of whether it's made out of cardboard or it's made out of fucking foreskin. It doesn't matter what the fuck it's made out of. If it's stolen, it's stolen and you purchased it. What are you doing? Not only the fact that you can get yourself in trouble, you can get the shit seized. You're going to get in even more trouble if you don't do anything. And everyone's like, oh, yeah, well, I don't have to give it to the PI. The PI can show up. He can't take my stuff. He can't take my stolen goods that I purchased. Trust me. There's a reason why everyone hands everything over to the PIs. It's not the PI you need to be afraid of. I mean, you don't have to be worried that they're going to show up at your place of employment or your house. And then you're going to be like, oh, no, the Pinkertons, they're coming for me. I didn't know. (laughs) Why would they do this? I can't believe it. I can't believe Wizards of the Coast. They would send the Pinkertons after me, just a poor collector buying stolen goods. Yeah, well, come on, come on. No, they're not going to, they're not going to tie you up out back and pump your ass full of cum, but they are going to take the stuff back. And if you don't get the stuff back, that's when it gets into a whole lot of criminal prosecution and or lawsuit type things. You have somebody else's intellectual property that is not released yet. No, they're not doing it on purpose. This is not the Pokemon company pumping out UPCs for the fun of it. Uh, they, they weren't like, oh, let's make it rain on Chicago. The G-Baller 69s with their fucking Nike dunks and their butt plugs. They're going to fucking have a blast with this shit. They're going to show the world how cool 151 is. I can't wait. No, that's not how it works. That's not how it happened. All right, we got to get through this. We got, we got a whole lot of stuff to look at. I guess there's not a whole lot of detail on each individual one. But we're going to look at the stupid people involved. So we have the... The target guy who was stalking the target was complaining about the target being stalked, whether or not it was him that got it through someone else or had a connection. He, not to mention the fact this fucking motherfucker, so dumb that he did it in the target parking lot. He's selling this shit in the target parking lot. What an absolute idiot. All right, then we have a Windy City Pops, Jonathan Romero. So we have Montero, Romero. You guys, Jesus, are we gonna, we got all the arrows. All the arrows showing up. Then we got the old uh, stores stolen, selling the stolen Pokemon 151. Not to mention the fact that, again, I don't know why. If you're a crime baby supreme, don't fucking fight with me. It's just going to make me look into you more and I'm going to find more dirt. Because if you fuck some people over, you're fucking other people over. It's a, it's a rattle rule. That's rattle rule number two. One month in advance, st- stolen. <laughs> rattle rule number two. If you want to fight with me, I, I am going to fucking undress you. I am going to fucking undress you. I'm going to show the whole world your tiny fucking cock. And then you're going to like every minute of it. Because if you don't, I'm going to do it over and over again. L- lesson learned. Did you learn yet? Harvey apparently has not learned. Although he's been pretty quiet recently. I think he had to learn the hard way. Um, not to mention the fact that he's broken several laws at this point in time. Um, Harvey, do you want to go to jail? I, see, I don't break the law. You're breaking the law. I don't get in trouble. You do. I don't have to answer to anyone. You do. You have a game store. You have customers that have expectations. You have distributors that have expectations. Uh, Not to mention the fact that all these platforms that you're selling on banned you because you're fucking chill bidding. Because you're dumb. You pretend your name is Jessica on another account and you're fucking doing it live. People can see you doing it on your phone. You dumb motherfucker. Holy fuck, you're dumb. And then we have Greenlight Collectibles. uh, Tony. Tone. Tone. Uh, who, uh, again, he also, he reached out to me. He's like, what the hell? Uh, you know, I, I, I didn't know they were stolen, whatever, whatever. Can, can we please do something about this? No, we can't. If you're going to, if you would like to say, oopsie doopsie, I fucked up. This is, it was my mistake. It was a terrible idea. I didn't realize it was as serious as it was. Then yes, we can make a follow up video about it. But if you're going to fucking lie to me, I don't give a shit. Fuck off. Now. Here we have it. We have stolen, stolen UPCs uh, for days. And like, I don't know what it is. People that are stealing in broad daylight with their face exposed. If you don't think there are cameras everywhere in 2023, 
you're sorely mistaken. If you don't think that posting this stuff here on buy, sell, trade, whatever, even if you use a fake G Butler name, uh, it, it's still going to get back to you. I, if I can find you, they can find you. Trust me. I, I've only been doing this for a little while here. Chances are the PI and everyone else, law enforcement, have way more access to way more tools that I don't, and I don't even need them. You're like, you're, you're here in broad daylight, you're posting on local classifieds and everything else. And for the people that are selling to other people, if you don't think these fuckers are going to squeal, they're going to fucking squeal. They squeal. They squeal hard. They squeal for me. Let alone when a PI shows up to their place of employment and says, hey, I need those uh, stolen carts. They're going to squeal. They're going to squeal on the person before them. We've seen it already. And then whoever that's going to go right back to the, the source here. And I think that's what we need. The source is where we're going to have to start focusing in on. Because if someone's stealing as much stuff as they did uh, in this instance, um, after it spreads out all over the place, yes, the people that are buying this shit are in the wrong. They're encouraging theft. They're buying stolen goods. It's a no, no, no all around. Don't do it. Uh, we need to, we need, we didn't, we also need to make sure that the platforms where this stuff is being sold are held accountable and they're doing what's in your best interest. All these companies, they're like, oh, uh, whatnot is for the community. We love sucking collectors dicks and, <laughs> and all this other shit. Uh, all these, all these applications, whether it's eBay, whether it's whatnot, whether it's Facebook marketplace, any, any of that shit, um, make sure they're doing what they need to do. If you if there's stolen goods there, report the living shit out of it. You gotta report the living shit out of it. Let whatnot know. Put them on blast. If someone's selling stolen goods on one on on whatnot, get on the Twitter. They apparently they like to communicate via Twitter. Get on the Twitter, tag them, tag me, say, hey, whatnot. Stop letting people sell stolen shit on your on your platform. If someone at whatnot would like to be a direct contact where I can just say, hey. Johnny, Johnny Poopo here over here. I was going to say Johnny Chimpo. Johnny Chimpo over here is <laughs> selling, selling stolen goods on your platform. Do something about it. And I, at that point, I make a video and whatnot does the right thing. And I cover the fact that whatnot did the right thing. It's really easy. I don't understand how the majority of these companies, um, no, I'm not saying that you have to put me on your website or anything like that. But if you don't have like a direct line of contact for me to just say like, hey, here's an issue. There are some, there are some that do. If I have a point of contact and I can just send over some images and be like, hey, you might want to deal with this real quick. And they do. Perfect. That's free of charge. I'm doing that at no charge to you. You would think that that would be acceptable. Um, no, I don't need to be in your, in your commercials or anything like that. Uh, you don't want me in there. There would be a lot of bad words that are censored out. Now, we have even the the promos, the promos popping up. Thank you very much, Corey, for the tag. Um, yes, so kind of famous collectibles with a Z. If I was gonna, if if I was just gonna make up a username off the top of my head uh, of someone that was selling stolen goods, so, stolen Pokemon cards, I, I feel like this might be in the top ten. Kind of famous collectibles with a Z. And again, not a new account. For anyone that doesn't know or doesn't realize, if law enforcement contacts eBay, they can get all of your information. And you're going to say, oh, yeah, but I made my name kinda. First name kinda. Last name famous. Middle name collectibles with a Z. They'll never find me. You linked all your fucking payment information. How the fuck do you think you're getting money out of there? Not to mention that you've been doing it for years. So they probably... You've probably been buying on this account too. So they know your home address. They know your phone number. They know your name. They know your banking information. You're fucked. You're absolutely fucked if they want to go after you. Like, I, I don't know how people think that in 2023, you can just fucking buy stolen shit, sell stolen shit, do whatever you got to do. We have Ryan C. Will, very fucking clever. Name, name, probably real name. Who fucking knows? If it's not, it doesn't matter. It can still be traced back to you. Not to mention the fact that any of the people that you sell these UPCs to, every single one of them, nine out of ten dentists are going to squeal on you um, with your new toothpaste here. Like, it, do, I, do I have to explain that? So we got the singles here too. I got to open those up. Ooh, we got the, the dogs are out. Nice. Free foot pick. 
Um, I never understood why people like, do you close your eyes when you take a picture with your smartphone that you can't see that you got your, your feet in the picture or that you can't see that anything's centered. Like you have, you're cutting off the cards here, but you have a photo of your feet. Again, low IQ. We're talking buyers and sellers of stolen goods here. So, and again, it, even if you use a fake name, it doesn't matter. You're taking a payment somehow. You're meeting up with someone that is going to tell people who you are. That's it's plain as day. Not to mention the fact that you're probably meeting up somewhere where there's a camera because you don't want to do it at your own house. Red flag, by the way, guys. If, if somebody wants to meet somewhere else, is really adamant on meeting somewhere else other than their house um, or somewhere like public with, I mean, even public with cameras. We've seen that. They, they keep, the, we need to do another mall series where we meet up with some scammers at the mall, uh, waste some time, waste their time. But even then, they're pretty, they're pretty brazen. They will show up and they'll, they'll right there in the mall, anywhere, buy a bank, in a bank, where there's lots of cameras. Very easy for law enforcement to, to come after them. Ryan saying, dude, all these small peepee guys commenting because they can't get it early is hilarious. If you want them, they bear real. They will be gone by TN. So enjoy, friends, fun the rip. Three more boxes, TN myself. All right, and again, we, I, I don't want to bring it up, but again, the lack of a at least third grade reading and writing level kind of shows you what's going on here. It's, um, d dummy's going to be dumb. Casey, on X, shares this bad boy with me. We have uh, at Rattle Pokemon, even more stolen goods being sold on a Facebook group. It's never ending. Uh, yeah, this is this is our boy. The dog's out. All cards for sale. English 151 hits and early UPC Mew promos. Mew EX SAR promo. Mew EX Gold. The Metal Card promo. Mew 2 AR promo. All FS. Thanks. I, I didn't. I couldn't tell that they were for sale. You might want to mention it three or more, four more times. Um, <laughs> we have Tavo here. Or Tavo, who says, how did you get these so early? Just curious. And Ryan says, I know a guy who knows a guy who robs people. LOL. Um, so whether or not he's being sarcastic, you know, I mean, they, clearly everyone everyone involved that has these, they know they're stolen. They're going to let on that they don't know. They'll be like, oh, in my perfect defense, I can pretend I don't know they're stolen, even though I own a game store and I know how far in advance things get. And they're going to lie about how they got them. Blows my mind. All right, so we got some more whatnot issues. Some more what whatnot needs has a whole lot of issues at the moment. Bounties, bounties are a huge problem. Uh, everyone playing anything and every game and every gamble, other than the actual packs and cards themselves. But they call themselves a Pokemon rip and shipper. Yet they're not. They're not really selling Pokemon by a huge percentage. They're selling gambling and games, gamble games. But. Nonetheless, we still have the issue with people selling on there. I think Whatnot, Drip, all these other G-Baller69 platforms with all the G-Ballers on there that are so horny to get an advantage, whether it's ripping people off with the scams, whether it's making extra money or making money, making free tendies with gambling that should not take place on the platform and is almost certainly being investigated by the people that need to investigate that stuff. If enough attention hasn't been given to it, I don't know what else there is to give. But here you go. This should, again, this should be a, hey, this is stolen. You know it's stolen. See you later. You're not on the platform anymore. I, I, I don't, can you imagine? Can you imagine if I had a ripping shipper dipper platform? Do you know how many people would be on there? There'd be like three. There'd be like three people on there. Leave, let me know down below if you'd be one of those three people. Um, but yes, again, I don't know what it is exactly. Um, but, I, and again, I think I think they need police reports you need criminal record checks you need criminal record checks to make sure that the people that are selling that are putting you're putting your name behind them criminal record check most importantly if you get caught ripping somebody off you're gone never again permanent ban you got caught you're ripping people off you do not deserve to be on the platform you don't deserve it Go fuck off somewhere else. Go do something else. Go be a G-baller elsewhere. Go play with your fucking sneakers, you fucking pussy. But regardless, 
And that's that's my thoughts. Is is it becoming that? Are, are my thoughts like becoming the right thoughts and the true thoughts that are should be what it is? Uh, we got to like this. So make sure you guys are always giving the scammers a reminder that uh, Rattle is definitely coming for them. Um, yeah, I am. I, d I definitely am. All of them. Uh, but again, we got we got a, we got the dragon here. Uh, these are the these are the limbs and wings and tail and cock of the dragon. Uh, we we've been cutting those off, but there's just too many. There's too many dicks on this dragon. Uh, it's just the whole bottom of it. It's like a it's like a centipede, but instead of the little legs, it's just little dicks all over the bottom of the dragon. Uh, we gotta we gotta cut the head off. We gotta get to the we gotta get to the root of this problem. I think Pokemon is kind of have has to do the same thing at this point in time. That's probably what they're aiming to do, um, because like man, the um the the, sh the and there's no way, there's no way the head of the dragon, the neck dragon, the head of the dick dragon, is not exposed or won't be exposed at this point. Like you can't uh, look at the sheer amount of UPCs that were leaked. Like there's only so many places that that can come from. There's only so many people that can come from, uh, and as soon as they they pinch down on that, like. Again, like I said earlier, that person is absolutely fucked. Like their life is fucking fucked. They're 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 absolutely fucked. Like if they don't end up with like a criminal record, sued by the Pokemon company, they're gonna lose their job. It's it's bad. They fucked their life. For the sake of yes, maybe they made some money. But no, was it was it worth it? No, probably not. We got the old dude, I'm a Mexican, seven thirty one twenty three screenshots here. Again, I, the G-baller stuff in the background here. Uh, if you think it's not all going to get traced exactly right back to you, whether or not you use your actual name, we got a B-lax. And again, these people, the vast majority of them, they're not holding on to this stuff. Like if you, if you just bought it and you, there was no trace of it or there was very little trace of it and you just held on to it, like, okay, they probably don't show up. The PI probably doesn't show up to take it. You probably don't get in any trouble. But there's no point in that, right? So it's not it's not the fact that they they don't want the stuff early. They want the stuff early because they want to show it off. They either want to show it off, they want to sell it, they want the attention from having something that other people don't have. That attention you don't want. You definitely do not want that attention. A lot of them figure that out when I start talking to them, when they get featured in a video. Remember the guy on the phone call? The guy on the phone call that was like, oh, I do this with sneakers all the time. I don't care. I don't care. Well, guess what? He does care. Uh, if anyone hasn't guessed, he was he was false flagging my video uh, with his recording. Uh, so you have to watch that on, on Twitter now at this point in time. Um, but uh, but yeah, apparently he does care. The, the, the tough guy that decided it was a good idea to talk to me and tell me about how he buys other stolen stuff all the time. Turns out he, he cared a whole lot more uh, once he found out that he was going to be featured in a video. So yes, they do care. They just don't realize it. They're going to talk tough. They're going to be like, oh, you you fucking stupid dupids. You just can't get a hold of this. I'm here to tell you that I could easily, easily, every single cent, get it early. If I wanted to be a G-baller, I could do it. I don't want to do it. I think it's a bad idea. I think it's bad for everyone involved. Anyone that takes place in any of the transactions that take place with this stuff, bad idea. Not good for any of them. I don't know how people don't believe me on this yet, but the vast majority of the people that are doing this stuff are ones that just weren't dragged for it already. I can almost guarantee you that they're not going to, there's not going to be a repeat on this shit. We've seen YouTubers do it. Apple, Apple Baby Supreme and uh, Heisen Shock or whatever the fuck his name is. Those two idiots. Yes, they've done it. Are they going to do it again? Do they, do they need another dragging? You got one of them pretending to be me, and the other one I have no fucking clue. He's just preaching about how you got to work hard, and I, I don't know. He, apparently, he doesn't usually say that you should buy the stolen product, even though that's like his secret, secret method. I, I fucking don't know. I don't know what the hell's going through their heads, um, or the any of the platforms or anything that use them for advertising. Blows my mind. Let's, let's 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 tarnish our brand a little bit with someone that buys stolen goods. That's a that's a great idea, and then promotes it to everyone and reinforces and backpat each other over making videos with the stolen goods. Now 
Um, similar problem. Uh, I don't think this deserves to be its own video, so we're going to toss it in here. We have Eric who says, does anyone know who this guy is or how we can report them? These packs are meant for local league, not to sell for profit. No idea what store they may have got these from. Um, and thank you, Nine Purple Ghost Four, for for tagging me in this. As it looks like a job for Officer Rattle Pokemon. And uh, yes, it is. Um, we're gonna have a quick discussion about this. Uh, the prize packs. Th this is this is where it starts to hurt everyone. It starts to hurt everyone. It starts to hurt other people that are not involved with this stuff. So you're like 151 UPCs and stuff like that. Distributors have to tighten down and don't ship as early to stores because you have fucking idiots that abuse it and will sell the stuff early, will break street date, will even buy stolen product. That hurts the small stores because they can't get their stuff early enough to have it all ready to ship out on time. They're following the rules. They don't get the uh, super bonus plus uh, you know, early seller crap that whatnot allows the bonus, the, the premium that's on all of that stuff beforehand. Again, shortcuts. You have shitty people will take shortcuts, uh, even if it hurts other people, if it hurts the people they're buying the stolen stuff from, if it hurts themselves, if it hurts anyone else, they're going to hurt everyone involved. They're not good for the hobby. They deserve, they deserve every bit of flack that they've been getting. I think they've been getting more and more of it. Uh, but I don't, I don't know how they learn their lesson other than that and or the Pokemon company taking action. Now with this, this is going to fuck game stores. This is going to fuck players. This is going to fuck everyone involved. So when you have this prize, these prize items that are supposed to be given out, but you're exploiting this, it makes it more difficult for the people that are running League. They gotta, they, the rules and regulations got to be more strict. It hurts the players because they didn't receive these. It hurts the other stores that are not taking advantage and not stealing these and selling them off for a profit. Similar to the, you know, the uh, the staff stamp promos, the ones that Wasi was fucking pumping. And he was like, oh yeah, none of them, are, they're never stolen. They're not stolen. None of them are stolen. You're full of crap, even though my sources are fucking bullshit. Yeah, well, the, the same shit that he was blindly promoting and saying, oh, look how cool these are. These barely came out. These... <laughs> Not, no mention, no fucking mention, living in a fucking dream world where none of this shit is being taken advantage of. Yes, there are shitty shops, and they fuck over all the good shops. All the good and honest shops that are trying to uh, run leagues, they're trying to have product for everyone, they're trying to make sure pre-orders are good, all this fun stuff, all this stuff that that is what you should be looking for in a game store. If you have a game store, and they're doing something like this, you need to straight boy uh, boycott the fucking shit out of this stuff. There is no excuse for it. I get it. It's tough to run a, a, a game store and make money. But when you're stealing the stuff, when you're not giving staff promos out to staff, and you would think that like Wasi and all these other fucking idiots that have a platform that like, oh, oh, yes, the Pokemon company sent me a fucking booster box and an ETB for the new set that's coming out because I'm such a good role model. Where the fuck are you? When shit like this is happening, why don't you fucking say anything? Hmm? Because you're a fucking pussy. Fucking pussies. All of you are fucking pussies. This is the kind of shit that should be frowned upon. This is the kind of shit that you need to talk about. Instead of like, we'll have Frosted Caribou do a fucking little cry fest about how, oh no, the poor community, no one can get their stuff. Make a fucking video about this. This is a real issue. The like temporary lack of product on shelves at Walmart was not an issue. That was a temporary issue. This is a permanent issue. It's been going on forever. When there's value in stuff like this, whether it's GameStop promos, whether it's this stuff, people that are taking the entirety of it, the game stores specifically, or the GameStop employees or the GameStop owners or whoever is taking the stuff, yes, it hurts everyone. And eventually, they're going to, maybe they stop doing this altogether. And then there's like a huge lack of rewards for people to play. This is a nice little bonus for people that are going to events. I think they're overpriced at the moment. And that's a large reason of why there's probably issues like this. I think they do need to be printed more abundantly. Uh, because maybe that's that's the solution here. But regardless, uh, if you're going to have somebody that takes advantage of something like this, they're just going to take advantage of something like this. And that's when they just need they need to be shut down.
they need to lose their privilege of running events. They're not clearly they're not actually running events or they're not giving out the prizes that are supposed to be meant for events. Uh, and I don't know if anyone needs a reminder, uh, but this stuff is supposed to be either given out at the event it was designed for, including the staff promos, given out at a future event for the staff and or players, whatever the, the corresponding items are supposed to be for or destroyed. Those are the options. Again, no one's going to tell you that. No one's going to talk to you about that. Uh, none of the uh, the super duper Pokemon play Pokemon approved motherfuckers are going to say anything about that because they're fucking pussies. And maybe maybe they're maybe they're afraid that they're going to bring some negativity. But I'm here. We're going to wipe the fucking negativity right out of this shit. I'm done with this stuff. We're going to keep covering it. Uh, you, put them on blast. Put these fuckers on blast. Anytime it happens. People selling stolen stuff and whatnot, fucking spam those motherfuckers in chat. Report the fucking shit out of them. Fuck them. Stores, I don't care if it's a store or not. You're either a good store or a bad store if you're stealing. If you're stealing from your players, if you're stealing from your staff, if you're selling stolen product, fuck them. Put them on blast. Fuck them all. Let's take care of this, guys. We're on the right track here. We gotta we gotta focus down on more of the uh remember the dick dragon head. But I think we're on the right track here. Good job, everyone that's tagging and uh, putting these people on blast. Uh, make sure you're tagging myself and uh, whoever is uh, in charge of whatever platform it's on. If it's whatnot, if it's TikTok, whoever it is, put give them the at. Tell them, like, hey, why the fuck do you let this happen on your platform? This is unacceptable. That kind of thing. If it's eBay, whoever it is, put them on there too. All right, guys, have a good one. Take care of each other out there. Join my fucking Discord. And open some goddamn packs on Saturdays. Or just come hang out. You don't have to open packs if you don't want to. If you want to watch other people open packs, you can do that too. Come have a cool beverage Saturdays. Happy hour chat. Just hang out in there whenever you want though as well. You can just, just join. Bye.